So my friend Justin Popovich wants to know, uh, how do I calculate my bandwidth requirements for various projects and websites? And I know why he's asking because he had a business idea he ran by me a, about a week and a half ago. And the first question I asked him was, well, what are you going to do about bandwidth? And, and he hadn't considered the question. And I'm pretty sure that's why you're asking. Um, and it's not something that I normally put a whole lot of consideration into, but let's let's look at let's look at a you know a new business project as an example uh now i have my own dedicated servers so i pay i have sort of a pay as i go plan sort of like your cell phone if you use a lot of long distance in minutes you're going to get uh, a bigger bill than if you don't use it at all that's kind of how my hosting is set up i have a certain i have a certain allocation or a, a commitment that i pay for and then anything over that um i pay a, i pay extra uh, and if i don't go over i don't pay extra uh, but if i go under i still pay that same amount of money it's kind of like your cell phone plan um, but a lot of people are on these sort of HostGator or Bluehost or one-in-one -one unlimited hosting accounts. Nine times out of ten, not, actually no, ten times out of ten, there's no such thing as unlimited hosting. Uh, even, if, even if there is no fine print, eventually if you're eating too much bandwidth, you will have to pay the piper. Um, and so how, how I calculate my bandwidth requirements is uh, I really only look at this if it's going to be a project where I'm delivering more than, say, uh, a gigabyte of data or or if I'm going to be delivering you know a few hundred megabytes of data uh, to a, a large number of users so here's an example let's say you've got a membership site that has video content just like this and this particular video is being hosted on YouTube because I'm not trying to keep it private and, and locked down and, and, and for paid members only but if you're trying to keep your content private and locked down you're going to want to have your videos hosted on either your own server or an Amazon S3 type of a uh, service somewhere where that video can be can be uh, protected and hidden. So um, in order to do that, you're going to have to pay for that video hosting. So the best example I can give you is a lot of hosting companies, when they say they have unlimited hosting, if you read the fine print, a lot of the time that, that will, will limit you to either a certain number of simultaneous connections or will limit you to uh, a lot of the time I've seen the number 500 gigabytes thrown around. So 500 gigabytes is an easy number to work with. So let's just say you have a membership site that has uh, you know, 10 100 meg videos in it. So there's a gigabyte of content in there. And it's safe to say that if it's a membership site, the average user is probably going to watch 80 to 90% of your videos, maybe 100% of your videos. So if you want to be uh, conservative in your estimates and make sure that you've got more than enough allocation, if you have a $500 monthly, or sorry, a 500 gigabyte gigabyte, not gigabit, gigabyte monthly transfer limit. That means that you can roughly bring in 500 members before you have to worry about expansion. Now, the reality is, is when you get to about two or 300 members, you're going to want to look at expansion, but that's sort of your ceiling. If, if 500 people come into your website and they're each going to pull down that one, one of each of those 10 videos, each one of those per people is going to consume a, a one gigabyte of your 500. So you can have 500 members uh, maximum on that plan. Uh, Again, you know, 100, 200, maybe 300 members, you're going to want to look at expanding to your own dedicated server. But that's how you want to kind of look at things. You've got to say, look, how many people are going to come in here and consume this much data and try and come up with some larger numbers based on your projections to figure out when am I going to need to move from this $8.95 a month, you know, uh, cheapy plan to my own dedicated server. Uh, hopefully that answers your questions, uh, uh, question a little bit better. I know there's no like sort of... Uh, crazy math here because everybody's on a different hosting plan, but you just have to look at how much data am I delivering and how many people are going to eat that data on a monthly basis and you can start to put those numbers together.